5. Nuclear reactions. The nucleus. Protons and neutrons are called nucleons. Atomic number Z is the number of protons in the nucleus. Mass number or nuclear number A is the number of nucleons in the nucleus. Nuclei with the same atomic number but different mass numbers are called isotopes. Symbol for an element is this X is the element. A mass number, Z proton number. For example, this one here, C146, is carbon nucleus with six protons, eight neutrons. Eight being the difference between 14 and 6. Nuclear reactions. Any change or rearrangement of the nucleons in a nucleus is called a nuclear reaction as opposed to a chemical reaction which only involves electrons. In a nuclear reaction the atomic number is conserved. The mass number is also conserved. Mass and energy. Einstein determined that matter could be thought of as a form of energy and that there will be a quantity called rest energy which will be the amount of energy that composed a piece of matter. This rest energy can be determined by E equal to mc squared where m is a mass at rest. Einstein's equation, this equation here, not only says that mass and energy are equivalent to each other with the speed of light as a conversion factor but also that energy and mass are interchangeable between each other in other words mass is a form of energy the strong nuclear force the force that binds the protons and neutrons together in the nucleus despite the electrical repulsion of the protons is called the nuclear force. Characteristics of nuclear force it doesn't depend on charge. The binding is the same for both protons and neutrons. This nuclear force is short range only about that much, very short distance. Within this range this nuclear strong force is greater than electrical force or repulsion. Binding energy. The term binding energy is used to indicate the energy that will be required to form an atom from the individual or separate protons and electrons and neutrons. The binding energy is therefore the work which would need to be done to separate the atom into its individual particles again. Note, binding energy is not the energy holding the atom together. So don't get that misconception. So when an atom is formed, neutrons and protons fall into this nuclear potential well, as it were, of the nucleus. And their potential energy falls also. If we assume zero potential energy when separated, their potential energy falls to a negative value. Nuclear binding energy. Here we have a nucleus consisting of protons and neutrons. And if we want to split this nucleus, then we have to add binding energy to split these nucleons. And the total mass of these separated nucleons is greater than the mass of this one single nucleus because of the addition of energy. So to make both sides balance you had to say mass of this nucleus plus the mass equivalent of this energy is equal to the total mass of these nucleons. Mass deficit. The total mass of the nucleons, that is the individual protons and neutrons is always greater than the mass of the nucleus by the amount 
call the mass deficit. The mass deficit is a mass of the individual nucleons minus the mass of the nucleus. The mass deficit represents the mass that is converted to binding energy. Binding energy per nucleon. A graph of binding energy per nucleon as a function of mass number is shown on the next slide. The bigger the binding energy per nucleon, the more stable a nucleus is. The graph shows that iron is the most stable element. This graph shows that iron has the greatest binding energy per nucleon. Therefore, iron is the most stable element. Here is another graph showing binding energy per nucleon. Once again, iron is here, very high. Binding energy per nucleon continued. The fact that there is a peak in the binding energy curve in the region of stability near iron means that Either the breakup of heavier nuclei, which is called fission, or the combining of lighter nuclei, called fusion, will yield nuclei which are more tightly bound, in other words, less mass per nucleon.